Hi, I'm Sapien Tia. This is a very introductory step course for beginners. 4.1 New Start One Way and Over First. Okay, uh, last time we finalized the t test. Let's review the t test. What was a t test? t test is a statistical test that is used to compare the means of two groups. Here, the main point is we want to compare the means of two groups. Do you understand now? Okay. Yeah, for example, here, as you can see, uh, we have two groups, A college and B college. And uh, we want to compare the two colleges' uh, male students' height. So we want to know the two colleges' male students' height are same or not? That is our question. In this case, we will use the t-test, right? But if there is uh, one more group, likewise uh, college C, as you can see here, we have three groups, college A, B, and C, and we want to compare the three college male students height so we want to know they are same or not but in this case so far we just know the t-test so maybe we want to use t-test on this case is it possible yeah it is possible but it is a kind of a cheating. Mm -hmm. So here, as you can see here, we use three times t-test. One, two, three. Okay? One, not two, and three. Anyway, if we conducted three times t-test here, we can compare three groups mean right it looks possible statistics in statistics we call it multiple t-test because we uh, did the t-test multiple times so we call it multiple t-test right so if if only if this multiple t-test is right, statistically right, we don't need to study more, any other statistical test, right? So, our question is, the multiple t-test is uh, good or bad in this case, right? Here, we have to remember the type 1 error. We uh, studied this uh, type 1 and type 2 errors in prior uh, chapters like uh, in the fundamental statistics. If you need to know the details of the type 1 error and type 2 error, you have to check the fundamental statistics. Okay? Shortly speaking, here, um, if the in the truth the null hypothesis is true. However, in our test, in our research, or uh, in our statistical research, shows that null hypothesis is false. This is possible, yeah. In this case, we call it type 1 error, right? The truth is, the null hypothesis is true, but in the test, the null hypothesis is false, so it's wrong, and uh, we call it type 1 error. In the uh, multiple t-test, there is a problem of type 1 error. Why? Let's check the type 1 error in the multiple t-test. Let's think about the situation. We did three times t-test with 5% p-value. Okay, let's see. 5%, right? 
right? And uh, 5% and 5%. So we did three times t test with 5% p value right here, okay? And then from the three result of the t test, we summed up all things and then concluded that like uh, okay the b college uh, male student is taller than a and c is taller than b so okay a b c is like this this is our conclusion from the three times t test multiple t test what is the problem our total p-value is here about 0 0.15 15 percent not five percent because we did three times t-test one two three and then we sum up all and then concluded like this C is taller than B, B is taller than A, and finally C is taller than A, right? So, for this conclusion, we used 15% p-value, not 5%. This is a logic of the multiple t-test, and this is the problem of multiple t-test, right? The exact formula is here. It looks very complicated. Here, alpha means 0 0.05, p-value, and the C implies how many times did you test? In this case, we did three times, right? One, two, three. So here, C is three. And uh, multiplied, alpha is 0 0.05. It's almost, almost, okay, 0 0.15, 15%. So, our p-value is much, much larger than our expected p-value, 5%, right? So our conclusion might be wrong because of the type 1 error. So we couldn't, we never use the multiple t-test when we have three groups to compare. So, the summary is like this. If you have more than three groups to compare, you couldn't do multiple t-test because of the type 1 error. Consequently, we have to learn new method. Here, the new statistical method is the one-way ANOVA. One, in one way, means that independent variable is only one. If we have uh, two independent variables, in that case, we change the name, two-way ANOVA. After learning one-way ANOVA, we will go on to the uh, two-way ANOVA. But the most important point is here, ANOVA. ANOVA, the name ANOVA is an acronym of analysis of variance at this point you have to feel something strange when hearing the name the name of analysis of variance why let's think about the example we want to compare three college male students height right so we have three groups and we want to compare the three groups mean values so we can expect that the name may be a uh, analysis of mean right because we want to compare the means of three groups however here the name is analysis of variance so, why is the name analysis of variance instead of analysis of mean? That 
should be your question to yourself. This is very important to understand the ANOVA at the starting point. This question is very, very important. Okay? So, next time, we will check why the name is analysis of variance, not the analysis of mean. Okay? So, the today's course is uh, here. 4.1 New Start 1A Anva first. See you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.